Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your love reading for the end of November. I've switched it up a little bit because my software, I just couldn't seem to get the best connection. And my video quality just, I never could tell if it was going to come out good or not. So I'm safe this way until I move. So hopefully you enjoy this. We're going to look at who's coming towards you, what's coming in for love, whatever wants to come up, whether you're with somebody, or, um, have somebody on your mind, or if it's new, it'll show up in the reading. I'll be doing Aries through Pisces, pulling from three decks at the end to get a message. If you do have somebody that you're blocked from, um, or very little communication, or just curious what they're really truly thinking. Let's do this. We're looking at love for my Gemini's. I do shuffle and meditate on your cards before I start, but I like to do it in front of you. Look at this, you've got something fresh, new, something that feels great. It's like you're just ready to leap into something, right? And this could just be a carefree energy. It could be feeling like everything's coming into alignment for you. Got an Aries energy around you, so it's a very playful energy, and it's it. It's definitely a, an energy of new beginning. Um, with this, the Aries starts something off fun, you know, exciting, something to being curious, but also just like almost feeling like, thank God, whatever, like whatever's been going on in your life. It's like you're you're not holding on to it anymore and you're just leaping back and surrendering and saying, you know what, I, I, I'm going to go with this new, I'm going to go with this new way, whatever's happening here. There's something changing in my life. And we got the eight of pentacles here. So it's like a lot of seeds have been planted in the past with, you know, manifestations, things you've been working on, and maybe they're finally now starting to show up for you. This could also be in work too. Um, even though we're doing love, whenever I see something like that, I will show you. Huge milestone. Look at this celebration coming in. Some of you may meet somebody at some sort of reunion or celebration, uh, you know, house showing, I got something like that, but something where you're around a bunch of friends, a bunch of people, maybe even music, just, you know, feeling like you can let loose a little bit, you know, it does talk about a reunion as well, or, and it could be, you know, starting a new beginning here, and maybe you're, you're looking now for a commitment, or you're meeting somebody here who wants commitment. Look at the world card. So you got two major arcana here now that's talking about walking through this portal, walking into the next chapter. You're looking for something more sustainable in your life, something different, you know, out with the old, in with the new. Something's shifting, something's changing where you want more stability. You want to work towards a stable, strong foundation. And so you're walking, you're literally putting your foot on and it's uncommon grounds for you. It's, it's not, it's, it's a place where you haven't been before. And it does feel like, you know, you know that it's the best, it's going, it feels different, but you're trusting, even though it's, um, it might be uncomfortable for you in some ways, not knowing where you might be going, but you're definitely moving towards a commitment. There's a huge accomplishment coming in for some of you. Again, it could be around work. It could be you're finally finishing a chapter of your life. You're actually um, celebrating uh, something you've done or you're finally in this commitment, closing a chapter, finally um, coming together and things seem like everything's coming into alignment for you. Look at this Ace of Pentacles, something you've been manifesting in, an offer, very generous offer love offer a new beginning so the ace of pentacles is my favorite ace to get in a love reading because it's it's everything it's prosperity it's 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 manifest in love it's planning for the future it's somebody's offer that you can trust that's being handed over to you it's like i really want this i really am looking at a future i'm really looking at something more stable Strong energy of new beginning here coming in for you with the world, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Fool energy. You have this death and rebirth coming in for you. So Scorpio season may have been rough for you. There may have been a lot of change, a lot of, um, a lot of uncertainties, a lot of letting goes, you know, a lot of transformation for you. But you're starting to see why and, and things, your mind's starting to clear. You're starting to feel a lot lighter because you're letting go of worries and anxieties. And you're, you're, I mean, I just, I think this is a beautiful reading. The shift, the chapter that's beginning for you. 
you know, for we see sustainable energy when it comes to the four of wands, the world card is fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy, strong Scorpio here. You've got somebody who, you know, they may struggle with getting things started, you know, but once things get started, they're in it for the distance. They're, they, they, they can sustain, they'll, they'll go until it's done. And you are looking for something more stable and sustainable. And we see this coming, we see this coming in for you. Somebody who may have gone through a lot of change here. And we got the five of swords, as I said, that there's been a lot of change. There's been a lot of no win situations, headaches, arguments, confusion. And we see, you know, that headspace being cleared. Letting go of what's not yours to worry about. There could have been some deceit in the past. There just could have been some envy. There could have been some, you know, worry over your future. When is something going to come in for me? Why hasn't it come in yet? And then here it comes. So expect some sort of, like you're on the verge of a message coming in for you. Somebody expressing their curiosity about you or they want to a fresh start. They want to go down a new avenue. Be a fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be somebody who's a little bit younger. This is going on a new journey and against this Aries energy. So this could be the person, you know, could have this way about them that, you know, helps you let go a little bit too. They may, they may be somebody who's a lot more lighthearted and playful and is like, let's just go, you know, and, and because they're like, you know, even though they're like this, they got a more childlike personality. It doesn't mean that this person is not stable and looking for a long-term relationship. They just, they like to look at life and, as more of an adventure. And they like to explore. And, and I could be describing you and you're meeting somebody that's, that's reminding you of what it is you've been waiting for, what it is you've been looking for. So you definitely have an energy here of an honest offer coming in, something that's gonna, you know, bring a little bit of a pep to your step, make you excited um, and curious about what's next to come in life. All right, look at this Ace of Swords. Some of you could be signing a contract. You could actually be finishing a situation here. Something that's been stressing you out, weighing on your head. You're finally, there's an end to a chapter. Some of you could be, you know, find, signing that final paper and a divorce. Um, this could also just be good news coming in. You know, something that uh, you've been waiting for. Finally getting that clarity, getting that communication that you've been waiting on. So this could be another energy because you got communication coming in here from somebody playful. For some of you, you may have been waiting on the truth, justice, something, you know, you've been waiting on a breakthrough with somebody. And it's in this case, you've been stressing out. It just seems like you can't seem to see eye to eye, but there's some sort of clarity or peace or truth being being coming in for you to bring some sort of end in a resolution to a situation that's been happening. So that's definitely a possibility here. We got the seven of cups here. So you got a lot of dreaming going on here, you know, and this is also a card of surrendering and letting go, fantasizing, daydreaming about all the things you want. And now I kind of feel like they don't look like they're, it doesn't feel like anymore to you that um, that it's in the distance or you can't have these things. It feels more to you like I, I can have these things. I have options. I definitely have options and the freedom to choose whatever I want. And it could legit mean many of you have options coming in. And when I say that, you know, you're manifesting in this is law of attraction. You know, everything, all the seeds you've been planted, like I said, with the Eight of Pentacles, all the seeds you've been planting, you're manifesting in, you know, this uh, attraction. Somebody's attracted to you. The, it could be Gemini. It could be another Gemini energy. Somebody who has a lot of, like I said here, similar qualities as you. But there's mutual attraction in this vibration that you're in is bringing in you know in a singles read the, this card reminds you that you are attractive to a lot of people a lot of people find you attractive so it's when we got the seven of cups here we're seeing you have many options for some of you all right is there anything else that um oh look 
we got the moon card. It's like some of you, you just don't see it coming. You didn't know, you, you know, you didn't expect it or you're not expecting it. There's been a lot of uncertainties, things that you don't see yet coming in. We got the wheel of fortune. So there's an opportunity. There's some more fixed energy here. And there's a Pisces energy here. There's, there's a sense of something that you just don't even believe or don't even know yet coming in for you. Something that's fated to happen. An opportunity. Look at all the major arcana, the magician, the world card, the death card, the moon card, the wheel of fortune, the fool card. This is like, it's your time now. The wheel's moving in a positive direction. There's a turning point in your life and there's a, a, a new journey beginning. And you're manifesting in something. Now, a lot of you have been kind of in this kind of afraid, you know, feeling like, what's my future? What's going on? And there's been so much uncertainty. But we see that the reading started off with the Four of Wands. This is what's coming in, more stability, foundation, walking into this new world and possibly with somebody it could even be a new party like i don't want to say who it is or what but there's definitely somebody here who you will know you will trust you will trust that this is an honest offer a new beginning coming in so you know for those of you that need signs we had strong aries leo sag we have pisces we have taurus leo aquarius scorpio we have gemini um and strong scorpio here for the energies that are coming through i have scorpio here i have house two which can be a taurus energy somebody who works a lot somebody who made a taurus in their chart i have a uranus energy which so could be an aquarius um energy and so let me get some more clarity on this page of wands. Tell me more about this page of wands, this communication that is coming in for uh, this, in this new beginning that's coming in this Ace of Pentacles. And for many of you, like I said, with the moon card, it's something that's been hidden, something that you don't see, an opportunity that, you know, you didn't, you didn't imagine coming in for you. All right, we got the fool card again. So we're seeing Aries energy. For many of you, it's, it is an Aries. The Fool card can talk about a fresh start. And so it's not, for some of you, get the High Priestess, secretive. It could be somebody that's been hiding in the background. Somebody that's coming forth. Somebody who finds you very attractive. A Pisces energy. More, look at the Death card again. Scorpio energy. So you know take it how it goes this could be something that you someone you've had an ending with and is a, a fresh start with a pisces or a scorpio and aries but i'm really feeling pulled that a lot of you have fresh new beginning coming in for you look at, look at the six of swords moving on moving on to calmer waters overcoming obstacles and a fresh start coming in for you that the knight of wands very flirty very driven very ambitious very fiery energy a lot of attraction here and it's instant attraction and you're about to have a lot of fun adventurous times ahead so we're moving from the page into the night it's like things will pick up and you're going on this beautiful adventure you see like again an admirer card i'll get a tea leaf card and then i'll do aries through pisces for you all right a deja vu, past love or knowing, past life, all right? So this person, you really just might be like, I've known you before. There's so much chemistry between you and this person. I get a younger person, maybe with red hair, somebody who's very into fashion and music. And, you know, younger, it could be somebody who acts younger, that Aries energy. It could be female, doesn't have, it could be, it doesn't matter, okay? Somebody who's very career, career oriented and works a lot. All right, and that's the same thing as that Knight of Wands here, very very ambitious. And we've got a brunette, somebody who's darker in here, intense and focused, which sounds like a Scorpio energy. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. And I get a fair male for some of you, some of lighter skin, lighter hair, more lighter than darker. So it doesn't matter what nationality. It is just saying that whatever nationality, the person's lighter than darker. And... Um, Let's see what else we get for the tea leaves for some predictions coming in. And then we'll do Aries to Pisces.
All right. So we see it could be somebody that you, it was disappointment in a friend or a lover, all right? And we see flute here. So some of you, this definitely could be, you know, you finally get in this ace of swords, this truth, this justice, all right? You might be realizing that you are just very disappointed in somebody. And some of you, you could be moving on past this to calmer waters with this person. Um, but you're just very disappointed in, in this person. We see heart. So we see love, deep affection, and caring. And we see funnel, a period of frustration, lessons to be learned. So, and again, I feel like this is where you're coming from with a disappointment in a friend or a lover and just a period of frustration and finally letting it go and starting. Um, and I see you're hearing good news come in. So pay attention that you're, there's an end into this period of frustrations and disappointments that's been going on with you. All right. So let's see Aries to Pisces. I've already shuffled these, but I'm just going to shuffle them again in front of you. I'm going to shuffle each each deck and then pull Aries to Pisces. This is for some of you that definitely have somebody on your mind and there's been very little communication. Um, let's see what comes through for, for each sign. All right, if you got Aries on your mind, I know we have a soul connection. I'm going through some change. The death card, Aries energy. All right, it hurts seeing you love someone else or the thought of you moving on. So this really does go with this reading that I just did. I know we have a soul connection. All right, Taurus. I know you don't feel the same anymore, we definitely have chemistry together, sexuality and attraction. And I had to go. We were holding each other back. So it does it does feel like it was more of a sexual relationship. You guys were on completely the same page. Gemini, I miss being with you. All right. Living beyond my means. Superficial energy. My new person looks like you. So this person is living a superficial life. It's more about money. It's more about getting ahead, more about wealth, and um, has nothing to do with the fact that they have a connection with you. They're just choosing the material world over this connection. Cancer, I trusted you, and now I'm moving ahead successfully. And I'm shielding, I'm withdrawing um, and making myself invisible to you or not communicating with you. Uh, I just feel like this person, uh, for some reason, there's something that they're saying to you that they thought that they, they feel hurt. Now, if you're saying, no, it's the other way around, then it might not be your, your, your cancer. But this person feels as though they have to move on. And you left me broke because I realized I didn't pull this other card. You left me broke. So this person's heart's broken over you. Leo, your body language says so much. All right. A rebirth, temptation. They might want to come back for a new beginning. We got the apple energy. All right. I still feel you with me for Leo. Virgo, I pretend that I don't care but I feel connected to you psychically. I am self-destructive, all right? We were too young. You know, that can mean we started too quickly, too fast, too immature, impulsive, or you were too young. Libra, I can still see you standing there. It stresses me out. I lack confidence and insecurities. I never find another love like you. I'll never find a love, but their insecurities got the best of them their lack of confidence. Scorpio, I want you so badly. All right. They're concealing their true intentions, trying to be clean. So they might be with somebody. I can't stop thinking about you. Okay. So they're trying to behave. Scorpio's trying to behave. Sagittarius, I want to make amends. All right. My, they're in their consciousness. Rejuvenation. They're unfulfilled right now, unfulfilled heart. I regret being unfaithful. Now I know how it feels. So the grass wasn't greener. The same thing might be happening to them. Capricorn, I'm not financially stable. 
all right it's private space so they're kind of holding back they try to hide that from everybody being with you taught me a lot though all right so they're just focusing on their their stability it seems like Aquarius I lied to you I, I need to be the center of attention I loved I love fame all right your jealousy smothered me Is that, um, that's Aquarius. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I, it's just, it gets like that. Pisces, we are more alike than I admit. Um, coexist in relationship difficulties, all right? And I get, I want you no strings attached. So it's like, I feel like there's, other parties involved here. You're, you both are maybe coexisting in other relationships or having relationship difficulties. And you both are wanting to cheat or, or get out of these situations. But the thing is, is I want you no strings attached is saying, can we have a connection and still be in our relationships is what that's feeling like. I love you guys. I hope this helped. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know you can't see my face, but um, I want the quality of the video to be a lot clearer for you and for you to see the cards. So I love you. Take care.